go Queensland say they won't name their team until game day. They don't know their team until game day. What do you make of that? Yeah, look, that's uh, they've, they've obviously just waiting on Cherry Evans. I think I'm, I was confident from day one. Billy Slater would play uh, in Greg Inglis, and you know this this is what Queensland do. They try to back themselves into a corner and somehow convince um, you know, all the bookies and everyone else that they're underdogs and. Um, yeah, they're trying to set us up for an ambush. Um, yeah, we, we, we know that. We know we've got to come, come very well prepared and we've got to play better than we did game one to, to get the job done. What would you make of Ben Hunt if he came into his side? Oh, ben Hunt's a great player. I remember seeing Ben Hunt as a, as a youngster when he won the under 20s play of the year. So I've known who Ben Hunt is for a, for a long time. So um, he'll, um, you know, if he gets picked, he'll, he'll, do, he'll do a good job for them. But you know, we're just concerned about us and what we have to do. It's a What's big it? game to throw a rookie in though, isn't it? Yeah, but everyone's got to start somewhere, don't they? So, um, you know, if, if he gets picked, he gets picked. I'm, I'm sure he'll be confident in doing his job. But as I said, we've just got to worry about ourselves. That's, that's all we've done you know, this whole campaign, and that's what we have to keep on doing. You know, we know we have to play better than we did game one. We've got a lot of areas of improvement, and, you know, if we improve in those areas and everyone does their role, you know, we'll be hard to beat. Are you guys preparing as if daily will play? Uh, yeah, we have we have the whole time. You know, as, as I said, I was very confident. I know how much, how much Billy looks after himself. I was very confident he'd play. Um, you know, Greggy, I was pretty confident he was going to play too. So I, I don't know Cherry Evans and how much he plays with pain, how much he does or he doesn't play with pain, how often he he, he does. Um, Chalky Watmouth thinks he'll play, and he's a teammate of his. So um, you know, I, I trust Chalk, and um, you know, we'll just wait and see. But as I said, we, we can't control that. That's that's something that we can't control. We've just got to worry about ourselves. It's nice to be back in Sydney. Yeah, it's good. It's good to be home. Yeah, I'm looking forward to going and seeing the kids today. So, um, but look, Cos Cos Harbour's been really good. It's been really good to get away, um, and, and and not put up with the hustle and bustle of Sydney. And you know, there's so much expectation and excitement about this game. Uh, I think it was just good to get away from it all and just concentrate on the preparation and concentrate on what we have to do to get the job done. Carl, given that, given you guys have had such a uninterrupted preparation, is that an advantage? Yeah, well, this is this is another one. Have you been conned too by Queensland? <laughs> <laughs> we, we've got two of it, two of our best players out from game one, so you know, we're going to miss them, Morris boys, immensely. The, the boys that we brought in have, have all the faith in the world in them, um, you know. So I think both teams are, are more than on level pegging as far as injuries go, um, and we, we've just got into camp and, and, and we've done our job. Queensland have done exactly the same thing. They've they've gone into camp, you know, they've, they've done what they've had to do, um, but it's just it's just all the media speculation like, with, with these injuries, which. Yeah, you know, believe me, that I, I don't think they're too worried about it at all. Have you been impressed? Oh. Sorry, Will and Josh, you know, through, as the weeks progressed, have they fit into the team as you'd hoped? You know, they... Yeah, I, I, as, as I said from the start, you know, there was, there was a couple of guys that they could have they could have picked, um, but I was more than comfortable in, in picking them guys. They've both been at this level before. They've both played really well at this level before. Josh Dugan's played awesome at this level before, and um, Hopper's obviously had a chance here too and played really, really well. So I'm, I'm more than confident. Um, in them two guys, they've fitted in the team and in the structure really well. They know their role, they know what they've got to do, and um, you know, I think they'll do a great job. The massive task in front of them against that edge, you know, that's that's Queensland's best edge has been for a, a long time and probably in Origin history. So it's a big task for them, but they're up to it. T Rex back in at 18, 18th, nice to see him around the boys again. Yeah, the big fella, he's good to have around T Rex. He he doesn't cop too much crap off everyone, especially Hainsey, and that Hainsey's, <laughs> Hainsey's pretty confident at the moment, so it's good to have T Rex in here. Uh, you know, sitting him back in his place. You're probably more towards the end than the beginning of your Origin career. It, have you given much thought that this is obviously your best chance to take a series away? Yeah, look, I, I thought the same thing last year too. So, um, you know, with two games in Sydney. So I, I just take every Origin game as it comes. I don't take anything for granted these days. As, as you said, I'm at, I'm at the, the back end. Um, and, and I don't take it for granted. I, I don't take the fact that we've won game one. To, to me, this is a decider. And this, this, that's the attitude I'm trying to drum into all the boys. And that's the attitude that, that they're all having. This is a decider. We, we must win this game. Um, you know, this, that's, that's the attitude. It's like game one for us again. If you win, could you potentially say, well, that'll do me this series? No, nah, that, that question was asked to me last year and, and, I've, and I've answered it this year. When, when someone's better than me and I'm not good enough to play at this level, um, you know, someone will take my spot. You talked about all the you know, hype around. <laughs> you, can, you can write my next contract. <laughs> you talked about all the hype around this game. What have you said to the guys to try and keep a lid on things and knowing you're so close but still so far? Yeah, like I said, just treat it like another game and, and treat it like a must-win game. Um, that's the thing we can't... We, we can't have any um, you know, lack of intensity in our mind whatsoever, not one bit. If we go into this game you know, with one, one inch of thinking, you know, well, if we don't win, 
you know, we've got another chance. You know, that's, that's when we're going to run into trouble. And that's been the biggest thing for me, just to drum in the fact that this is a decider. Every game you play is a must-win game. And that's the attitude we have to go, to go in uh, to this game with. And how's the neck? Yeah, that's no, been good. It's been fine. So I haven't had any contact for, you know, two weeks now. Um, I've done, done, I, did, I did contact the train. Actually, I wasn't planning on doing any contact at training, but did, um, did plenty on Saturday and Sunday, and it's pulled up fine. Have you found it hard to focus on origin with club level goings on at all? You've said last week when we were up in Coffs, you said, listen, I'm here for origin, that sort of thing. Have you found anything a distraction? No, oh, no, not at all, mate. We, you know, we're, we're doing our best at Cronulla, and obviously we've got a lot of players coming back next game from injury, so we'll just um, you know, hopefully get everyone back and start winning some games. How do you find being the mouthpiece for every time Assad is thrown up in the headlines? How do you cope with that? You're our go-to man. Yeah, it's frustrating. Um, but as I've said from day one, n nothing's changed for me from day one. I don't know anything, uh, what's going on. Um, none, none of the players do, which is the most frustrating thing. And as far as what's going on in Melbourne, I don't, I don't know Essendon circumstances one bit, so it'd be hard for me to comment on it. You mentioned how confident Jared is that Jared is. It's got to be a good thing for New South Wales. Yeah, it is. I just, I just love taking the piss out of Hainsey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, mate, Hainsey's, Hainsey's turned into a real leader. Um, not only this year, I'm not just saying this year, over the past couple of years he's turned a real leader, he's been a great leader of this side, he's very vocal at training, as I said, not only this year but in, in the, over the past couple of years, so I've been really impressed by him at training and obviously you know, he's backing it up with, with his performances on the field, you know, which is what he has to do, there's no point coming to training and talking it up, you know, you've got to get out there and do it and he's in a good frame of mind at the moment, uh, club level and at this level, so Let's hope he can have another blunder. If Daly plays, do you see a weakness in his defence? You're going to run plenty of traffic at him. No, nah, look, we've got a, we've got a game plan, and uh, you know, none of our game plan is to, is to target anyone in particular. As I said, we, we've all got roles to play. We're going to go out there and play them. He's a quality player. He's been probably the best halfback in the competition this year. So if, if, he, if he plays for them, um, you know, I'm pretty sure he'll be 100% fit and you know, he'll, be, he'll be ready to go. Massive crowd, mate. Uh, the support of New South Wales fans. How good's that? Yeah, it's been unreal. As I said, the, it amazes me how, how big Origin gets every single year. Um, when we got off the plane back from Brisbane, just people talking about it, people bipping horns. It's, it's unbelievable. It gets bigger every year and obviously to win up there and the support we've got, um, it's been huge. And the, and the expectations got even bigger now. So um, that's, that, that's what the good thing was, getting up, up to Coffs Harbour and just trying to get away from it and concentrate on our job. But yeah, to come down here and to win in front of them home fans would would be really great, not only for us, but for them. That they've, they've backed us for a long time now, and we probably owe them some too. How's Josh Reynolds gone with the, some of the criticism from the Queensland players after that first game? Is that still on his mind at all? <laughs> his nickname's Grub, so I don't, I don't think he cares too much at all. No, he's, that's, he, he, he doesn't care one bit. And that, that's something I've, I've really been conscious of. This camp has taken a back, back seat to the two halfbacks. Um, you know, they're rookie halfbacks at this level. And, and they've done an enormous job. They've come in, they've run the, a lot of video sessions, uh, they've run a lot of training sessions. So I've been really impressed by both, and they're both composed. Um, but you know, even Grubby, for a bloke who's so intense, he, he's very composed as well. So they, they've done a great job throughout this camp. Some of their comments, though, after that game still sit pretty poorly with some of your players. Mate, I'll be honest with you, as I've said to you before, I don't, I don't read it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't read into it, I don't listen to it. It seems a lot of the pressure and a lot of the hype comes from I've seen former players and the media. You know, the blokes who are playing, you know, we, we have a respect for each other. And, you know, as, as I've said before, we have, a, we have a genuine hatred for each other when we go out on the field and we want to do our best to get the job done. But we, we respect each other and I don't think we talk you know, too bad about each other behind each other's backs. We're all open and honest. As I said, a lot of it seems to come from past players. Have you thought about what it would feel like? to hold that shield up, to lift that shield? Oh, look, I've, I've got to be honest, I've thought about Origin every day for years now. <laughs> so it's been a, a huge goal of mine. Um, as I've said before, I've had a real checkered Origin career up and down, missing games and injuries and stuff like that. So, yeah, I, I try not to think about it. I try to think about what I've got to do to get there. That's the biggest thing. But I'd, I'd lie if I said I'd never, I'd never thought about it. Yeah, some pretty special words are spoken in the in goal area when you guys had that chance to regroup. What is it that you say to one another? It looks pretty emotional. Yeah, it was uh, after the first try they scored early. That one, yeah. Look, that was that was a bit of a shock. Um, no, not a shock, you know. We give we give if you give the, this team opportunities like that, they're, they're going to capitalise every now and then. So we just have to get back to you know worrying about our next job. That's been our biggest thing. Just worry about what, what we've got to do next, and worry about your job. That's the biggest thing, you know. We've got we've got things that we have to expectations from the coaches and from each other that we have to meet. Uh, and, if, and if we don't meet them, then we probably won't be here. Well, um, game three. Not flash, but it's something like it ends tonight. Ah, uh, no, no, your, your lip read is not that flash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've, you know, they've been sort of heading a bit of a fire under Dave Taylor saying this is his last chance. Do you expect him to, to 
pose a bit of that X factor for Queensland? Oh, Dave's always had that about him. So yeah, absolutely, he's a he's a monster of a bloke, and um, you know he, he can do a lot of things. He's got a lot of skill in the game, a lot of size, and a lot of strength. So I'm sure they'll be wanting that from him. But um, as I said, he's just another player we have to deal with out there. We can't worry about him. We're, we're not worried about anyone in particular. We're worried about doing our job. You know, I know I know you want to know what we're going to do for this certain player, but we we really haven't concentrated too much. On individuals, you know, we play these guys every week, so we know what their strengths are and their weaknesses are. Uh, and as I said, heaps of times, we, we just have to worry about our job and getting it done. So is it yours to lose? Oh, look, I'm not looking at it like that, mate. I'm just looking at it as another game of football that, you know, to me, is a must-win game. That's that's the way it is. You ask Queensland why they've won so many series. I don't think they look at the series they've won or the plays don't anyway. They just look at the next game and, and they, they want to do everything to win that game. And that's what we're going to do. We're doing everything to win this game. Earlier you mentioned that it was going, you're treating this like it's a decider. Robbie also mentioned it on radio yesterday. Whose idea was that and what was the thought process behind treating this game like that? Oh, look, I think it's just everyone's. Yeah, I don't think anyone in particular come up with it. I just think that's, as I said just then, you know, every game we want to play is a must-win game in our mind. You know, I don't go out there in any game I'll play to, to lose. Um, and and that's, that's what all of us, and as I've said, if all, all of us do our job, all individuals, you know, we'll be really hard to beat. And if we don't have that mindset, if we don't have that you know, real hungry attitude and that um, real desire to win. If we have one you know, lax bit of attitude, um, you know, that's when Queensland are going to come up and bite us. Because in their mind, no matter what, it's, it's a must-win game. Does the preparation seem like uh, the I's have been dotted and the T's have been crossed? How does it compare to game one's prep? Yeah, it's been, been really good, especially the Saturday and Sunday sessions. They were probably a lot more physical than they were in the first in the first camp, a lot more physical, a lot more intense. So, look. We can't be any, any better prepared. We can't be in any better spot than what we are at the moment.